Now, before trying any troubleshooting steps, first of all, restart your computer. Just restart your computer once and then check. Next step is to uninstall and reinstall BattleEye. Now, for this, make a right click on the game, select Manage, click on Browse Local Files, open BattleEye folder. Now, over here, you can see uninstall BattleEye. Make a right click, then click on Run as Administrator. Click on Yes to allow, and then click on Install BattleEye. Make a right click, and then click on Run as Administrator. Click on Yes to allow. And once this is done, now you can launch the game and then check. Now still not working in that case, uh, you can uninstall BattleEye once again, make a right click, then click on Run as Administrator, and then click on Yes to allow. And this time do not install it. Instead, you launch the game. Now when you launch the game, during the launch, it will install BattleEye. So over here you can see it's installing BattleEye, and once the installation is complete, it will launch the game. Now, if you have the game on Ubisoft Connect, uh, you can go to the game and then click on this settings, click on properties, go to installation, click on open folder, and then you can open BattleEye and then do the same thing. Uninstall it, uninstall as administrator, reinstall as administrator, and then check. Now, still not working. The next step is to, if you have any other game which has BattleEye, so if you have PUBG, Fortnite or any game which has BattleEye, in that case, you can rename BattleEye uh, exe file in Rainbow Six Siege and then you can copy the BE service exe from other game to Rainbow Six Siege game. Now for this, you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, go to the game installation folder and then open the BattleEye folder. Over here you can see BE service underscore x64, make a right click and then you can click on rename and then you can rename it whatever you want. Once you rename it, now go to the game, find if you have any other game which has BattleEye, in my case it's PUBG, you can open the BattleEye folder and then copy this BE service underscore x64 and then you can paste, the, paste this exe file to Rainbow Six Siege Battle Life Folder. Once you have this, now you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to, if, if able to launch the game, avoid using Alt Tab. If you're not able to launch the game, you can skip this step. So Alt Tab while playing the game is crashing the, uh, crashing the game. So you can avoid using Alt Tab. Next step is to select no beta chosen in Steam. So at the top left, click on Steam, then go to settings and then go to interface. Over here, if this is selected Steam beta update, you can select no beta chosen over here and then launch the game. Next step is to delete the config file. But before that, let me inform you all saved settings will be lost. So to delete the config file, you can open file explorer, go to documents over here and then open my games, open Rainbow Six Siege, open this folder. Over here, if you see this game settings, you can just make a right click and delete this and then you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to uncheck administrator from the game exe file. So make a right click on the game exe file uh, game and then go to the game installation folder. Find the game exe file in the list. Make a right click, click on properties, go to this tab. If this is checked, you can uncheck this box, hit apply, click on OK and then check. If that does not work, next step is to uninstall Ubisoft Connect and install the latest version. To uninstall Ubisoft Connect, first of all, you can close Ubisoft Connect. So click quit Ubisoft Connect. Once you quit the Ubisoft Connect, you can go to Ubisoft website. Uh, first of all, uninstall Ubisoft Connect. So type in control panel in Windows search box, click on control panel, click on uninstall a program, find Ubisoft Connect in the list. Once you find Ubisoft Connect, make a right click, make a right click and then click on uninstall, click on yes. And once the uninstall is complete, restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can go to Ubisoft Connect website, install the latest version of Ubisoft Connect from here. So on this page or at the top right, you will see download Ubisoft Connect. You can download it from here, install it and then login and then check. Still not working. The next step is to run Steam or Ubisoft Connect as an administrator. So first of all, close Steam. Once you exit Steam, now you can type in Steam in Windows search box, make a right click on Steam and then click on run as administrator. Now, similarly, if you have Ubisoft Connect, you can click quit it. Now, once you quit, now you can type in Ubisoft Connect. 
and then click on run as administrator and then check still not working the next step is to steam users try launching game from ubisoft connect so you can open ubisoft connect and then go to library and then scroll down and over here you will see steam if you have the game on steam you will see the steam version over here and then you can launch the game from here and then check next step is to clear download cache now for this you can go to this location so open file explorer and then open c drive program file 686 and then ubisoft ubisoft game launcher and over here you can see cache folder uh, you can just make a right click and you can delete this folder if you want to create a backup you can just copy create a backup and then you can delete this folder and then launch the game next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder again go to the game installation location so click on browse local files and then find the game exe file and then make a right click on the game exe file select properties go to this tab put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game from here and then check if that does not work put a check over here select windows 8 hit apply click on ok make a double click over here launch the game and then check still not working this time you can select windows 7 over here hit apply click on ok launch the game and you can also try disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check now when you put a check on all these boxes still not working in that case you can uncheck these boxes hit apply click on ok follow the next step next step is to verify the game file this is important so you can go to steam make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrated game files once the verification is 100 percent complete launch the game and then check if you have the game on ubisoft connect in that case you can click on the game click on this settings uh, sorry go to library click on the game click on settings then click on verify files and after the verification launch the game next step is to try dx11 or dx12 in the launch option for steam users make a right click over here go to properties type in dash dx11 now launch the game and then check if that does not work type in dash dx12 launch the game and then check still not working you can remove this follow the next step if you have the game on ubisoft connect click on this three uh, click on this settings icon properties and enter launch launch arguments type in dash dx11 save it launch the game and then check if that does not work you can type in dash dx12 save it launch the game and then check still not working you can remove this save it and then follow the next step now the next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program this is important so if you have any third party antivirus like avast not on bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have allow the game exe file to antivirus program now if you are using windows security then open windows settings go to privacy and security then click on windows security click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow and then click on add an allowed app click on browse all apps then go to the game installation folder in my case the game is installed in this location so wherever the game is installed go to the game installation folder select the game exe file click on open again click on add an allowed app click on browse all apps and then select this exe file click on open you have to add all the exe file and then again browse all apps open battle eye select this one open once you add everything now you can launch the game and then check if still not working in that case open control panel and do the same thing system and security windows defender firewall allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings click on allow another app click on browse and then go to the game installation folder wherever the game is installed open the game folder select the game exe file click on open click on add in my case i have already added again click on allow another app click on browse select this exe open add again click on allow another app click on browse select everything all the exe file and then click on add again click on allow another app click on browse open battle eye select this exe file click on open click on add once it is added now you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia 
So to perform a clean installation, go to NVIDIA website and then select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system. So if you have Windows 11, select Windows 11. If you have Windows 10, select Windows 10 and then click on find. And once you click on find, you will see this page. Now here you will find the latest GeForce game ready driver. Now click on view. And then once you click on view, you will see the download option. Click on download and let the download complete. Now once the download is complete, run the exe file. Now once you run the exe file, you will see this screen. Click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here. By default express would be selected. Select custom and then click on next and then you will see this screen. Now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. Make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete. Once the installation is complete, restart your computer and after the system restart, launch the game. Now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this type in graphics settings in Windows search box, click on graphics settings and then click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder, select the game exe file, click on add. Once the game is added, click on the game, select high performance and you will see your graphic card over here and then check if you have the game on Ubisoft Connect. Again, select high performance, launch the game and then check. Next step is to roll back graphics driver. Now this has also worked for many players. So you can roll back graphics driver to the previous version or maybe older version. So you can select your graphic card, select your operating system, click on find. It will take you to the next page. On this page, click on more, view more version over here. So right now the latest is 576.52 whichever is the latest you can maybe try installing this one 576.40 576.28 and for many users this is working 566.36 game ready driver so you can download it but when you go for the installation select custom option and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation then restart your computer and then check next step is to Try debug mode in NVIDIA control panel. Go to desktop, make a right click on the desktop, show more option, NVIDIA control panel. Now once NVIDIA control panel is open, at the top left you will see help option. Click on help and then click on debug mode. Make sure debug mode is checked over here and then you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to Install Visual C++ file. Now for this, uh, go to this Microsoft website. The link is provided in the video description. Over here you can see Visual Studio files. You have to download this x86 and x64 version. Download both the file. So download x86 and then you can run this exe file. If you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install. Download this x64 file as well. Run this exe file. If you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install and let the installation complete. Once installed, you can close these boxes and then restart your computer. Restart is a must after this. After the system restart, launch the game. Next step is to update Windows to the latest version. This is important. So open Windows settings, go to Windows update or update and security and then click on check for update. Once all the updates are installed over here, then restart your computer and after the system restart, launch the game. Next step is to set now, if you have overclocked your computer, so close all the overclocking application. If you have overclocked your computer, set your overclocking to default and then close all the overclocking application like MSI Afterburner, Revert Twinner or any kind of overclocking application, close it. Also, if you have undervolted your computer, remove the undervolt and then launch the game. Disable Steam Overlay. Now for this, make a right click on the game, select properties. Turn off the option which says enable the Steam Overlay while in game and then check. If you have any other overlay application like Discord running, in that case, go to Discord settings, turn off overlay. If you have NVIDIA app or NVIDIA GeForce running, go to settings and then turn off NVIDIA overlay. So close all the overlay application and then launch the game. Also, if you have any kind of Razer peripheral software open, you can close it. Unplug all the external devices. So if you have Vota's wheel, pedals, any kind of USB adapter connected, disconnect it. If you have multiple monitor setup, in that case, try launching the game on single monitor. And if you have any extra controller connected, disconnect extra controller. Sometimes we have USB dongle connected, disconnected. If you have any third party services or application running, close it. Next step is to increase the virtual memory. 
So to increase the virtual memory, type in view advanced system settings in Windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive. So uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives. Uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed. So select the drive and then once you select the right drive, now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total RAM. So you can check the total RAM in Windows settings. You can go to system and then go to about and total RAM in my case is 16 gigabyte. So you can calculate accordingly. In my case is 16 GB. So I will calculate as per 16 GB. So and first of all, we have to convert 16 GB into megabyte. So we will open calculator. So type in calculator in run box and then click on OK. And over here, uh, it's 16, 1.5 into total RAM. Total RAM in my case, it's 16 RAM, 16 GB. So one 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 GB is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 GB in megabyte will be 16384 into 1 1.5 1.5 into total RAM this is my total RAM in megabyte now 1.5 into total RAM total RAM that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total RAM. Now total RAM in my case that is 16 gigabyte. I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. So 16 into 1024. I have converted this in megabyte. Megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into 3. That is 49152 49152 49152 now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this now the next step is to update the BIOS. So go to your system manufacturer website, select your model number, update the BIOS. In case of laptop, make sure battery is more than 10% and the AC adapter is connected to the computer when you update the system BIOS. During the BIOS update, your system will restart. Do not unplug the power cable when, when your computer is restarting and then log into the computer and then launch the game. The last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives. So if nothing is working, you can just make a right click on the game, select manage, click on uninstall. Now after you uninstall the game, go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder and then restart your computer and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to different drive like D drive or E drive or any external drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, then install the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.